<coughs> Excuse me. All right, how you doing? MCON 2112. I'm doing a response to your video. Although I agree a little bit on what you were saying. When I watched the video, and I've watched it a gazillion times, just looking and, and looking at the little things that went on in that video. I understand where you're coming from. Listen, he didn't need to, you know, some people saying, well, he's a guy he could use, but he didn't know what those women had. And just to, just to make a, a quick point, um, another thing I realized in that video, and again, I watched it a million times. Um, when he first got slapped, I don't care who you are, what you are. Most people, I don't, and that, that would include you, me, anyone, you get slapped, you're going to be upset and angry. And being upset and angry, he did the right thing. He walked off. I'm upset and I'm already angry. This woman put her hands on me. This person put their hands on me. And he walks off. But then these people proceed to follow him, to confront him some more. And it's as if they took his passiveness for weakness. So, oh, no, he's a little, he's a little punk. I'm going to go and try him some more. I'm going to go try to hit him some more. You know what I mean? If you don't pay attention, um, when she jumps the counter, the first one jumps the counter, the other one who walks around the counter takes off her purse. She had those little backpack purses. She takes it off. That means she's gearing up to fight. That's exactly what she's doing. She takes it off and just lets it drop to the floor. You know what I mean? And she's posturing like, yeah, I'm getting ready to fight. What was he supposed to do? You know, understandable. Yeah, he's a guy and he doesn't, you know. But he doesn't know what those women are back there. To do. They just hit him. They call him all types of names and then they follow him back into the back. You know what I mean? That it's, it's totally not fair. One, the fact that this man even got, they didn't even get charged with assault themselves. They only got charged with menacing. Uh, trespassing and criminal mischief. That's what they got charged with. That's not fair. He was assaulted too. You know what I mean? They slapped him. That's not right. Not to mention, this man is probably walking away to calm himself down. And then when they approach him, his blood boiled over. What? You follow me back here? My place of work? I'm trying to work. You not only hit me, but you follow me into the back when I'm trying to calm down? Nah, them women got everything they deserved. Every whooping he gave him, and if you pay attention real cl um, close, one of the women tries to get up. That's the woman that you said he stopped and he paused and he said something to. She's, it looks like she said something to her because he responds, listen. And when he responds, he was pissed off. And then she tries to get up and he whacks her some more. And then whacking her some more, he turns to the other one and whacks her some more too. You know, and uh, listen, you got, those women got what they deserved. He does not belong in jail, all right? And what made it worse is, just like you said, when you watch these videos, you watch any of these news stations, they start off with McDonald's employee attacks customers. They don't show that they attacked him first, that they assaulted him first. The first video I saw of that, I was appalled. I looked around like, God damn, this man is vicious. But when I watched the whole thing, I went, whoa, 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 whoa. These women deserved everything they got. You expect people to say, oh, oh I'm going to calm down. He was assaulted to begin with. They came back there. It's kind of hard for him to calm down now. We're, we're, we're adults, but his blood is already boiled, you know, boiled over. His blood has already boiled over. And not to mention on top of it, um, this is a man who came out of prison. Prison rules are a little different, and he just got out but a year ago. He got out a year ago. He literally got out of jail a year ago, and it's a shame he's going back. But... um. And he didn't do anything wrong. He, you know, and that's another thing they pointed out. What he, what his crimes before that have, has nothing, has nothing to do with what this case has to do here. It had nothing to do with it. He didn't do anything wrong. Matter of fact, the man came out of prison and has a job. He went and got a job. Whatever job he can get, he got it. So that says a lot there. It really does. So the way the news portrays it is real bad. And then... And, and, I, and I understand where you're coming from with it. You know, he pulled a pole. When I saw the pole come, I was like, oh, the fuck? No, and he's beating these women when I first saw it. But when I saw the whole thing, I realized, well, these women deserve what they got. Because at this point, you're chasing me. I didn't do anything. This man did nothing wrong. And they're saying what he did wrong is he continued to beat him. He's upset by this point. You hit me. You follow me to the back. You try to assault me some more. I got the upper hand. Now I'm angry. You can imagine with every hit, he got more angry. You saw it. With every hit, he got more angry. Like, I'm at work. You guys are trying me. You hit me. You could see it. He was angry. And you need to let that man go. People get angry. We're human. None of us here are infallible. But I just wanted to respond. And by the way, great video between you and your wife. I liked it. It was very good. I watched the entire thing. I liked it. All right.
I uh, just wanted to state my opinion on it. Thanks.